So today I think for Soren and I was probably the most exciting day of the trip so far. I think it's something like day eight um, in on the trip. Um, we got the privilege of going down and spending the day with 52 of the most beautiful husky dogs I've ever seen. Um, Svalbard Tourism and Svalbard Husky put together an all day dog sledding trip. And uh, we got to spend our time cruising through the polar night with um, these dogs. Uh, and these huskies are just amazing animals. And the dog, dog sledding trip itself, it's something that everybody should experience in a lifetime. We're gonna check out the uh, city on some dog sleds. Four hours of full adventure, let's check it out. Now in the darkest time of the year, and the moon is full and the weather is clear, then it's, uh, it's so beautiful outside. It's not the regular place to go for a holiday, so all together we have about 1500 people visiting us every year. On our way back, we're calm and tired, and, and all of a sudden our attention got caught by this uh, uh, shocking scenery. There was another uh, dog camp, and uh, outside of it there were quite a few dead uh, seals that were hanged by, by the owners in front of the dog camp as bait for polar bears in order to avoid the dogs being eaten first. It was, uh, was a little bit of an eerie uh, scenery, so we got out of there quick. These people actually try to live with the polar bears and that's something coming into this is really hard to understand but polar bears is a serious thing. Like someone came and started Svalbard, whoever it was that founded this place, set up shop and tried to live amongst 2,500 polar bears. So we go around and no matter what we're doing, whether we're snowmobiling, we're taking husky dogs out on a dog sled team, we're always weary of what's out there. It's pitch black and you got your rifle, you got your common sense, and you just hope for the best. And I, I feel, I think that's pretty neat. <laughs> 